Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Marvel Legends Songbird from the Infinity War Build-A-Figure Thanos Wave. Let's go. All right, and here is Songbird out of the packaging, and she looks really good, actually. Um, in the package, she didn't look that good to me, but after I posed her around and stuff, she's a pretty cool-looking figure. Um, so I don't know much about her, so let's go ahead and read the back of the package. A cacophony of skills, a supersonic powers make Melissa Gold the high-pitched hero Songbird. Now, that doesn't really tell me a whole bunch, so I'm going to go ahead and put up some Google images so you guys know what I'm referencing when I mean I don't really know a whole lot about her. So uh, let's go ahead and just dive into the figure and see what she's all about. Alright, so taking a closer look at her accessory, um, it's pretty cool, pretty pink, pretty hot pink. Um, the back of it on this side is a lot, ah, is a lot pinker than the, the back side. So it pegs into her back right there and it has this little swoosh right here. And what I do like is the swoosh fits perfect like that. And then you plug it right in right there. So her hair will fit perfectly like that. And it doesn't weigh a whole lot and I believe she stands pretty easy with it. So let's get her stand. So boom, I'm just showing you that she can stand with the figure um, fairly easy and just a vanilla pose like that. Not too well posed, but uh, pretty decent. Alright, so taking a closer look at the figure, um, I really do like the way that the head came out, but I'm not sure if this head sculpt has been used before. So if you knew, if you know if this is the previous Miss Marvel or any other figure, can you let me know? Because I'm just, I can't put my finger on it. And I'm not too the sh I'm not too sure if the hair has been reused, but I can't I can't figure it out either. But I do think the head came out really clean, and I like it. So moving on down, I like the uh, the shoulder pads that came with her. Um, you can move them around and stuff, so that's really cool. And it's a soft plastic, so it doesn't hinder her any of her articulation in the shoulders or anything like that. So when you take a look at her armbands, those are really cool too. I like the way that it came out and texture. So she only came with open hands, which kind of sucks, but these hands do pop out and it's pretty easy to um, take out and find another hand that'll fit in there. Uh, I do like the white on her chest. That deco came out really clean. Moving down, the belt looks really good. And then moving down to her legs, the, uh, the design and deco in the legs came out really good and the pants came out really good really like it. So the deco and the design of the figure is really great. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at Songbird's articulation. The hair plastic is pretty soft, so it can move really well. And I like that this is able to move. You're able to lift it up and take it off if you wanted. Uh, really good for customizing fodder. This can 360, single joint again. Um, this does not move around, it's um, sculpted into the figure, so we do have the hands, 360, and hinge, and these do come out really easily, well, fairly easy, and plug right back in. So we just gotta find some, <clears throat> some hands that fit perfectly in there, and then she can look down that much with her ab crunch, which is fairly good. Honestly, it's, it's pretty pretty decent, honestly. 
no no uh, torso crunch right there or a swivel belt does move around we have an upper thigh swivel double jointed knee and pivot so decent All right, and for a quick size comparison here she is next to the Mary Jane 2 pack on her left and on her right is the X-Men uh, Juggernaut Wave Rogue and the head is the alternate head that I had from a previous custom Rogue I just stuck it on there so the body is the Hasbro body um, the Rogue looks a lot thicker than her she looks like she's about the same size as Mary Jane um, I don't know maybe a little I don't know it's, it's weird I don't know what body it is maybe it's the storm body um, I don't have my storm figure anymore, but, uh, yeah, they all seem to be the same height, uh, size in really well next to each other. I'd imagine she'd be that, that much smaller than, a uh, Rogue, so I think these sizes look really good. And here she is next to the Marvel Legends 2-pack Peter Parker Spider-Man, and next to the Juggernaut Wave, uh, Wolverine. Um, looks pretty good, uh, she's pretty, she's a lot smaller than... Uh, not a lot but she's shorter than Peter Parker and that looks really good next to each other and she's a little bit taller than Wolverine which looks really good next to each other so uh, I think she's pretty spot-on as far as uh, size comparison next to other Marvel Legends go alright let's move on and here's Songbird with the Mary Jane 2 pack head on and I actually think it looks really good um, <laughs> shit I think this is a really good look on it maybe if I get that um, another black widow I'll go ahead and paint some of the hair white and just do this swap because I think this looks really really good on the face yeah, I wanted to get a closer look at this because I think this looks really really good um, I think they should have went with this head and just repainted it a little bit of white um, I might have to do that later on this looks pretty damn good in my opinion let's take a look at some other figures the uh, the skin tones off on the Mary Jane but the the head actually doesn't look too bad on that body it actually does look pretty uh appropriate in scale with it so it kind of looks like a barbie girl or something valley girl <laughs> but uh, it looks decent on this body wall all right guys that's going to be it for my review of the marvel legend songbird uh go ahead and leave a like and leave a comment let me know what you guys thought of the figure let me know what you guys thought of the review and i will catch you guys next time peace